Yeah, you're absolutely right. And I mean, if you look at, for example, core consumer inflation, yeah, it's still 0.4%, well below the kind of long term average of around 1.5, 2%. So that's very indicative, I would say, that, you know, China's domestic demand recovery after reopening last year has, has really been quite underwhelming. How do you get optimistic then about that market, especially when you when you see numbers like this, then you you have that possible uptick in CPI, but the worries still remain and the underlying factors, consumers still not spending. Mm. Well, China is a, a huge market uh, and um, the growth is below the long term averages. But look, it's also a very varied market. So the property sector is still providing a massive drag. But there are pockets of strength, like tourism, you know, many parts of the manufacturing sector. Um, and, you know, some of the recent targeted support measures, like the auto trade in subsidies, which just got boosted, doubled at the end of July, has had an effect. If you look at the run rate of those subsidy applications, it implies about an 18 percent increase in car sales going forward, if that continues. So that could be substantial. It's not going to massively turn around the Chinese, uh, Chinese consumer market will, but it will add a significant lift. Duncan, great point on the car sales there. I want to pick up on just how bifurcated the Chinese market is because we're talking about that in the West where you have some consumers that are more protected, still spending, they still have firepower, whereas others have eroded their savings. We know in China that the savings was much smaller on the back of COVID for that market than it was in the West. So just how much of a similarity are you seeing between the Chinese consumer and what is now playing out in the West? Yeah, I, I think there is a definite similarity in terms of if you look at consumer sentiment surveys in China and the West, they've been persistently much weaker than, you know, hard data would indicate a, a moderate recovery. So to me, that suggests um, a kind of longer lasting psychological scar from the, you know, obviously the pandemic and in China, the, it, you know, prolonged severe lockdown and restrictions, I think, have had probably a larger effect psychologically on Chinese consumer sentiment as well as the property market.